guys welcome back to my channel and to a new video so in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how i got this smoky blue glitter star liner look now this wasn't at all what i had in mind when i sat down to film this video i had some things go wrong but i absolutely love the way this turned out and i think it's so much better than what i had in mind so if you guys want to see how i created this look then just keep on watching all right so let's get started now i am kind of nervous because i haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in like six months so i'm pretty nervous i feel like i have no idea what i'm doing so bear with me but for today's look i'm actually not going to use a primer because i like to use primers when i do a lot of eyeshadow and a lot of color just to make it pop but today is all about the eyeliner so i actually just have concealer and some powder on my eyelid but one thing i am gonna do before we get started is i'm just gonna apply a little bit of baking under my eyes i always do this both to bake to set my concealer but also to make sure that if i get any fallout it's not gonna stick to my base so you can either do this or you can do your eyes before your base so i have this little kit with brushes from sigma so i'm gonna try to use these brushes in today's video i haven't tried them until now so i'm super excited about that and then for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Soft Glam 2, which is the new mini version of the Soft Glam palette. So this is what it looks like. It's super cute and it literally has my favorite shades from the Soft Glam palette. So I believe this is for the holiday collection. And it's definitely like, if you want to give someone a good gift, this is it. So since I already have my concealer on my eyelid, I'm going to go in with this shade right here and use in my crease. So I'm just picking up a little bit on my brush and I'm just gonna go right into my crease. And I'm using the fluffy blending brush from Sigma to apply it. And it is called the Diffuse Crease Brush. So as you can see, I'm just softly building up the color into my crease. I definitely want this to be super soft and natural. That's why I like this shade because it's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's just a very nice transition color. And I'm also going to add some under my eyes just again to create some shape and shadow. And I usually like to kind of drag my color out a little bit like this. And I'm definitely going to make sure to do that since I'm doing a winged liner and it's going to look really nice and cohesive so i think this looks really good now i'm gonna move over to the other eye and i'm gonna do the same thing so i'm gonna add some in the crease some outer corner and on my lower lash line okay so i had this idea that i was gonna do a black smoky liner with the eyeshadow in the palette and that i was gonna put some like dark glitter on top of it and i had like it looked really good in my head so i just went to grab some glitter and i don't have any dark glitters so now i don't really know what to do because i found this one right here which is a super cute like star glitter from anastasia and i'm thinking should i just put these on top or should i do a blue liner instead because i really wanted to do a black liner I don't really know what to do so change of plans i am still gonna use the black from the palette but i am gonna go in with some blue shadow first so it kind of fades from a black to blue and there's stars and glitters hopefully it turns out good um this wasn't what i wanted to do i'm gonna use the norvina volume one palette this palette is super messy but i'm gonna use this shade right here the d d4 and i'm gonna use this little angle brush from iconic london and i'm just gonna pick some up of the blue and we are gonna do a liner with this one so i'm just going in and creating my shape so i'm just going in with this blue eyeshadow and i'm just gonna create the shape of the wing so i'm just pressing it along my upper lash line and then when i get towards the end i am gonna wing it out and create like a wing with it. I'm also gonna do my inner corner wing because I always do that 
and then I'm gonna take like a small pencil brush and I'm just gonna slowly smudge it and I'm doing the liner a little bit thicker than I normally would because I feel like when you do a colored liner you can make it thicker without it being too much and we're gonna apply the glitter and everything else on top so you definitely want to be able to see it if that makes sense so this is where I'm at with the liner and I think it looks really good and I mean we're gonna apply the glitter and stars on top of it anyways so I don't think it has to be perfect so I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna do the other eye and I will be back in one second so this is where I am at with the liner now it is a little bit messy but I think it's gonna turn out good in the end so now I'm actually gonna go in with Noir from the Soft Glam palette and I'm just gonna add this right here along my lash line and I'm pretty much doing this because I want it to be super dark and intense as like close to the lash line and then kind of fade up into the blue and the brush I'm using for this is the Sueva 317 wing liner brush and this is my favorite brush to use when I do a smoky liner like this it's so easy to use I think that is all for the eyeshadows for my glitter I think I'm gonna mix uh, two shades. So these are all from Anastasia. So I'm gonna use the loose glitter in Frosted and Flower Child. They look like this. You can't really see but they have like a blue shift. These are so pretty. I use this one all the time. I haven't used this one yet. So we'll see how it looks. So for the stars, I am of course gonna use these ones. These are called Dimension also from Anastasia. So I'm gonna use the glitter adhesive also from Anastasia to apply it. And I really hope that this one works with the stars because I don't have any clear lash glue So hopefully this works. So when I do glitter, I like it to be more sparse I don't like it to be too heavy. So I'm actually just gonna coat my Brush this is the same brush I used earlier and I'm just gonna coat it in the Glitter adhesive then I'm gonna pick up some glitter on my brush So I have it right here and then I'm just gonna press it on like this that looks really nice so the glitter is on and now for the stars I think the easiest way is gonna be to kind of do this and then place the stars because they're probably a little bit heavier I don't know if this is gonna work. Wow! Oh my god! So it is 7 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. I mean, who does not want to look like this? All right, so I have stars absolutely everywhere. So I think I'm done with the glitter liner, star liner, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm going to apply mascara and lashes. And the mascara I'm going to use is Legit Lashes from Huda Beauty. And then my lashes are just from Findic. It's like the Swedish version of like eBay or something. So those are the eyes almost done. I really want to add some liner into my waterline. Now, I would leave it like this. I think it looks good too, but just for the drama. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Lifeline Pencil Liner. It's a liquid liner and pencil liner, but I'm going to use the pencil liner. I've had this one for a little while and I haven't tried it yet, but it's so creamy. I think if, if this one sits all day, it will be my new favorite liner. So this is pretty much the finished eye look, guys. I'm gonna take some photos and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I'm gonna finish off this look. All right, guys, I'm back and I actually finished off this look off camera because I had to walk my dog, I had to get breakfast, I'm on my way to work, so I'm kind of in a hurry. But I still wanna show you guys what I use on my face. So for my blush, I used this blush right here from Nabla. This is the Lola blush. 
And then for my highlight, I used the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Trippin and the Nabla Skin Glaze in Amnesia. This is my favorite highlight combo. And then for the lips, I wanted to keep a cool tone to match the eyes. So I have the Anastasia Soft Touch Matte Lipstick and then I just have a darker pencil. I don't know the name, I just got it in my purse. And yeah, this is the finished look. It's, I think it turned out so much better than what I thought it would, especially since I had a whole different look planned. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video too. And please give this video a like if you liked it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.